All right. Oh, welcome back. Let's do more of these uh next fest demos. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one this next one. Okay. Stand by. Apparently it's doing first install. Now installing Microsoft VC redist package, step one of two. <laughs> it's still doing it. Ah, uh, dear. Give, give it a minute, chat. But with the BRB screens, some of the messages are inside jokes, so if you are here for the stream, you will understand it. Windows Defender has blocked some of the features of this app coming from Epic Games. Oh my god. That in itself kind of is like, hmm. Anyway. This is Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. So, I don't play sim games that often. So this will be a treat, I'm sure. It doesn't seem like there's any music. Okay, open the beer, the brewer's quarterly. The fuck is this? Greetings, brewer. Do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of the Brewer's Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers. Recipes, articles, a catalog, and last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn income whilst increasing your brew mastery. Why not give it a go? Jobs. Sensational citrus. Dark matter. American stout. American pale ale. British strong ale. Requirements. Batch size is small. Contains the flavor. Note citrus. Okay. Difficulty straightforward. Let's track the job. We'll just do one at a time. Open the journal and go to the recipes section. Okay. Sensational citrus. The recipe American pale ale. Okay, that's the one. Pin recipe. Okay. All right. Where's the fucking kitchen? What do you want to do? I want to get 21 liters of water. Uh, place item. Right, and then open. How does this work? Open lid! I can get it in there, but then... It 
It doesn't appear to be pouring the water in. Hang on. Okay, so that's not how you get that in there. Fermentation containers, tubes, measuring tools. It says to a brewing container, right? That's the brew container. But when I go water, nothing happens, so... A tube, let's see. Ah, connect the fucking tube. Okay. I have a tube now. <laughs> I'm never gonna make beer here. Fermentation containers, conditioning containers, brew containers. See, I thought this would be funny to do. But if I can't even figure out how the fuck to get water inside a container, all hope is lost. What's build mode? Okay, so I mean, it's got a builder as well. Let's exit build mode. Maybe there's another way to get water. Try measuring cup and adding the filled cup to the brewing container. There's a measuring cup. That's ingredients. Fermentation container. Conditioning containers. There's no measuring cup. Plastic barrel. Capacity 21 liters. Gee. That might be it. Okay, so hang on. Connect tube. <laughs> it's just... I have something that's... I have multiple things that are 21 liters. Connect tube. Cancel tube connection, hang on, and then connect tube. No, but it doesn't work. Hold on. Connect tube. Connect tube. Now do it. What? Connect tube, connect tube. That is connected, you can see it, right? Open cold tap. Okay. It's filling. All right, there we go. We got action. <laughs> it's filling. In I guess this is in real time, huh? Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> can I- can I speed this up? Right, well... Whilst the tap is filling up, let's look around the kitchen. Put on some decor. How about this potted Japanese plant? Put some feng shui in the kitchen. Look at this. Beautiful. Right in front of the fridge to give it some colour. Absolutely stunning. If we're in an Australian kitchen, you got to have a cockatoo magnet fridge. It's on a fucking skateboard. Absolutely majestical. And what good is a kitchen without a neon fucking light? Look at that. The feng shui in this building has gone up by a magnitude of 10. You know that, right? Now we check on our barrel to see how much has been filled up. Oh, it's only been four liters. Five liters now. Looks like we're gonna have to kill more time. So, back to build mode. Ah, porcelain plates. One that me grandmother used to use. Just gonna chuck it somewhere important. Right there. Beautiful. Decorative. Gonna prepare to the, uh, local beer festival. Remind ourselves of the goal that we're setting. Gorgeous. Whilst we're waiting for the water to fill up that massive fucking container. I like to imagine that we're drinking a cold one with our favourite glass. Right, all this shit is in the way. What we need to do, we need to organize and prioritize. Any good chef knows that kitchen layout is absolutely important. Your kitchen must flow. Practicality is everything. As we know, the U-shape is the most stable geometric pattern in the universe. The stability here and the flow of the kitchen will operate much more efficiently. It's 10am, and I just fucking realised that when I have the menu open, the game stops filling the small plastic barrel with water. So I kinda just fucked myself. I turn on my x-ray goggles to see the specific gravity, temperature, and original gravity of the situation. Detail statistics of the plastic barrel filling up at a very, very slow rate. I took off the lid in anticipation of the water filling up the barrel. Nothing special seemed to have happened. I put the lid back on and continued to wait as the plastic barrel was approaching the halfway mark. Apparently there's nothing fucking on tap. I look at my shelf, empty and pointless, as there are zero awards. Come to think of it, these are probably kegs that are supposed to go there, not awards.
It says 21 liters. That is, this barrel is 21 liters. I am not filling it up for no reason. Don't question the fucking brilliance of the chef. I am following this recipe to a fucking T. It's just very, very specific in terms of measurements. How the fuck can a barrel this size hold 21,000 liters? Makes no fucking sense. Oh shit, it's holding more than its intended capacity. I am defying the laws of physics here. Right, now that that's done, you pick up your barrel, and you pour it into your container. Cannot fit item inside container. Remove the lid. Pour into. Okay, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Okay, remove the lid. Pick it up. Now pour it into it. Cannot pour from this container! What do you mean? Okay. Connect the tube. Connect the tube. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to watch this process now. Not only did we have to watch the 21... 21 fucking liters come from the tap into the keg, but now we, watch, me, we must watch the 21 liters going from the keg into the gigantic pot that fits 25 liters. The stream is certainly not going the way I thought it would. This game is ass. Well, sunshine, that's what reality is. You can't brew some beer without standing around and waiting, can ya? You know that, right? It's a simulator. It's supposed to simulate the reality of opening a fucking tap, connecting a hose into a container, which then slowly trickles in at the rate of 21 liters every 10 minutes, and then you must disconnect the hose, put the keg down, reattach the hose, then take it to the pot and watch it drain. Why the fuck has this stopped draining? This is no longer progressing, why? I don't understand why you can't just pour the fucking water from this container into the pot. I am thoroughly confused by the rate at which this water is, is trickling. It appears to start and stop indiscriminately. It's almost like watching a download, you know? We're downloading 25 gigabytes of data here, into the small pot. So, we've done 3 gigabytes of data into the small pot. I check the calendar to see how long this is fucking taking, as it feels like I've been here a whole month. Oh my- oh my god. There's time travel. <laughs> so if I go three days later, Right. It's now 3.10 in the afternoon and it's still fucking going.
day three. The plastic barrel has still not filled up into the pot. I've been standing here for ten fucking days. And for whatever reason, there's now, there's, there's now only two- what the fuck is going- Okay, I can't do this voice forever, but what the actual fuck is going on? <laughs> there's less water in this now. Did the water evaporate? I'm sorry, this is... This is not going the way I expected it to. We, we barely got any water. Ah! Uh, oh, 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 oh! Oh, fuck. No! There's water everywhere in the kitchen. After clearing the flooding to the kitchen, we go back, put the barrel down, connect the tube. And now we progress time forward. Wait, I can't do it now. I'm sorry, but does it actually take that long? Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's stopped. But there's still 10 liters inside here. This is so confusing as to why this is not working. Thirteen days in. And the small pot is still at 13 liters. At this point, insanity is starting to kick in, as the pot is starting to slowly but surely evaporate the water that has made it in slowly. Is that 21 liters? 20 liters. Okay, not quite. Nearly there. It's not progressing again. I am thoroughly, thoroughly confused as to why this is not doing anything.
All right, we did it. 21 liters. Done. Right now. We interact with the kitchen hob. We set the temperature. I'm not quite sure. I can't see what's happening. <laughs> I can't... okay. Is this bug? I, I can't see what I'm setting this to. <laughs> I'm pressing it. Is the dialogue supposed to pop up to show how much? All right, we did it, chat. We made water at uh, room temperature. Hang on. Okay, it is increasing, I can see it. If we attach the lid. Receive malt extract from the fridge freezer and add to brew container. Okay, that, that's better. Too hot. Too hot. All right, I think I think we're good. Malt extract from the fridge. Steep, hang on. Malt extract from the fridge freezer. Okay. It says two kilos, hang on. Okay. Add it in. Remove lid. Pour into. Wait, four? Pour into it. There we go. One. Two. Okay. Retrieve steepable grain. Which one is it? Ultra Prevail Crystal. Okay. And how much? 400 grams. Okay, uh, it says place item. Okay. Hold for 65 degrees over in one hour. Okay. Right. 
Remove it from the container. Heat wort until boiling. Wort is the sugary liquid cr- alright. It's at 45, so that's not good. <laughs> Okay, uh, E, set temperature, increase. It's still not great, hang on. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Retrieve hops from fridge. I'm going to finish this recipe. <laughs> Chuck it in. And now we bring it to the boil again. Cool. Retrieve a fermentation container. All right, let's jump to that step. Okay. Is it filling up? I don't know how I expect this to work exactly. And then pour it. Oh, hang on. Remove lid. Pick up. Okay. Pour it in. Okay, that that looks correct. Get some yeast. How much yeast? 150 grams. All right. Done. Okay, let's attach the lid. Ferment for up to 15 days, all right. <laughs> 15 days. We're doing it. We just stand in the kitchen for 15 days straight. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Retrieve other ingredient from ingredients cupboard. Corn sugar. 170 grams. My inventory is currently full, so how can I... I can place it. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
remove lead. That says 170 grams, okay. That'll do. Okay. Attach the lid. Retrieve a tube from the conditioning container from the and then transfer beer to conditioning container. Okay. So Connect tube. Connect tube. Is it working? No, wait, hang on. This is stupid. Connect tube. Connect tube. Okay, that should work now. Open top. All right. Leave the condition for 21 days and then taste and package your beer. We're almost there, chat. This was not a pain in the ass at all. Why has it stopped? Why did it stop? It seems like time travel glitches it. It appears to be empty. Open close tap. <laughs> okay, a whole nine liters. Sure. Okay. Um, attach. Like I guess nine cannot. Okay, hang on. Detach to nine liters. All right. Cool. Leave to condition for 21 days. This is an example of sunken cost fallacy if I ever saw one. Six days remaining, and then we get to taste our beautiful beer. Okay. Taste and package your beer. Bring the to the taps in the tasting room. Oh boy. What was the tasting room? <laughs> I was walking into a table. This is it. This is the moment. Taste beer. The beer has failed the tasting test. The batch size is too small. Adding water to the conditioning container can solve this. Alright, great. I made nine liters of swill in 50 days. <laughs> Tastes like defeat. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, that one's clunky to play. I'm not one for simulator games, but I did it for comedy purposes. I'm sure it'll improve over time, but... That was, uh, that was a little clunky to do. Anyway. Let's move on to the next one. It looked good in the beginning. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure they'll improve it. Okay, this is... Railbound. We're making... Railroad tracks. Kind of cool. Get the gist of it. It's a little puzzle game. Making railroads and making trains go. Okay, so hang on. Yep, that goes there. That'll continue. This goes here. Alright. Oh, so you can repurpose. That's cool. Yeah, this is this is a nice little chill one. Oh, so now we've got a two carriage system. Is this gonna collide? No, it's fine. Okay. I get the feeling there might be problems with collisions later, but for now... Let's just assume no one's going to die from me colliding trains. There it is. Uh, I need to make this go the other way. There we go. This is not gonna work, they're just gonna collide, hang on. What is this post used for? It's just barricading, right? Hang on, this doesn't work. Hold on. Oh, I see. Dummy. <laughs> the arrows. That did not work. I mean, I appreciate how simple some of these are. Wait. Okay, I see. That should work. There's probably multiple ways to do each one of these. Okay, this one needs to get ahead. There we go, that should be simple. Yeah, I didn't notice the arrows. <laughs> the obvious arrows. Ooh. Okay, hold on. This 
one should just go straight there. And then this one should take its sweet time. I might need to send it further, but we'll see. No, that worked. Cool. Unlocked 14A. I think we've pretty much flown through this one already, the demo. But yeah, you, you get the gist of this one. Those ones are kind of set with what it can do. There we go. Oh wait, no, that's not what we do. Hang on. I thought I had the answer. That's not it. That's not it. It can't go there. This is the answer. I was close. Got 13A as well. This is a tough one. Okay, hang on. There we go. Thirteen B, okay. I was like, how's that gonna work? Okay, no, there's more. There's more to do. I thought it was gonna cut the demos. Okay, we got to see a few more mechanics. So now there's a tunnel involved. I like this one, but this one is a question of how much is this going to cost? Uh... Okay, we got two, three, A. What am 
I looking at here? These are going to go out different tunnels, so this one should go here. There we go. Yeah, I think this has a really nice aesthetic to it. Well, I mean, this one should just go direct, right? And then this one should follow. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got we got a few more levels, and then it'll be like getting to the uh the thing. It's that one. I can come here. Ooh, how's this one gonna work? Hang on. Maybe I'm wrong about this. There we go. I think all of these ones are about making this one take Okay, hang on. This needs to take the less direct approach, whereas in these two Okay, I see. Maybe. I'm out of track. Nah. Okay, this one... I need to think. This does the same thing, but with less track. The problem is this is- this one's the quick one. But I can't do that because then none of them can go here. Okay, so... The answer is definitely like that, because there's no way this can be done any other way. So now, how do we delay this long enough? Hold up. Yeah, 
so now two goes ahead of one. a tough one. Wait, can I make it do that? Okay, hang on. This might just be a matter of a loop. Too much track. <laughs> the answer is going to be something like this. I don't know how to delay this anymore. That just leads it back to the start. I'm not really helping myself here, am I? This is a hard one. Unless I'm overcomplicating it. I'm overcomplicating it. Hang on. Okay, that goes there. And this goes up. No, but now two's ahead. Okay. Functional, but not quite what I want. Fucking tough.
There's several issues I need to solve here. Okay, so that will get to... Oh man, this is such a headache. Okay. Bear with. No, but I need that here. I'm gonna run out of track. Like, I'm using way too much track. This should be at the end, so now let's... This is the last one that's really messing with me. Can't happen. Okay, hang on. That is incorrect. I'm trying different things here, but it's not working. I thought maybe I could do like a, a cycle thing. Kind of works, but I need one more piece. One piece short constantly. Where can I cut a piece? Be onto something here. Is the is the tunnel just a fucking bait? It might be. What if I ignore the tunnel completely? These go directly. Ah oh, no, but then they get stuck there. Hmm. 
Nah, this doesn't work. So these have to go through this tunnel. It's just, how do you delay the third one long enough? Alright, so this is, this is the minimal setup to get these across here. So now with the remaining pieces, I need to get number three. So I have five moves. fucks up the track. Ah, oh, nearly. But I can't delay it anymore. <laughs> so fucking complicated. But I feel like I'm on the cusp here. I'm just repeating this again. I can't really delay this one anymore. This is as much as I can delay it. This one's hurting my head a little. <sighs> but if I go along the bottom, this is just gonna... Hang on. It's gonna use too much track, like I can't get this down there. It just uses too much track to go along the bottom, it's an extra piece. This will never reach. But that will, but then... This is just wrong. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One piece shy, come on. No, but that has to curve there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I just can't get it. <laughs> I'm either colliding the one or the three or the two and the three. 
There is, there is some very specific answer to this. be sitting here all night. <laughs> okay, but... Oh my god, is that it? I think this is it. I got it! Oh, that was hard! Shit, that was hard. Oh, what? Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me just see this again. So that's gonna go in, but this is gonna go through that. Alright, so it has to do this. Hang on. Like that. And then this just has to be delayed. Alright, that one was straightforward. I don't know why the other one took me so long. I'm guessing this is the same principle again. do that. Okay. This one goes... F okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is a little... Okay. So this one should go in this tunnel. It's... I'm gonna plan number three first. Okay, so that's fine. That's not gonna work. This, however, will. Wait, no, it won't. This needs to get ahead of number three. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so that's that's stuck in a loop. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so now I need to get number two. That should work, right? Yeah, there we go. I overcomplicated it. Thanks for playing the demo. The full version will feature a hundred puzzles and a bonus stage, new worlds to explore, new gameplay mechanics, and more. In the meantime, please enjoy these extra puzzles showing some of the stuff you'll see later in the game. Okay. Boom gates. So this, this is just going to show introductions. It won't be detailed. This is this is kind of neat. Oh. Do I need to delay this? And Looks like a, a delay is definitely in place here. I can't really do anything else to number one. Number one's gonna go through, so how do we delay number two? So you can't do that. What am I missing here? Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh oh. Wrong order. Um, inversus. Yeah, so this flips the track midway, which is interesting. Alright, that one was easy. Multiple boom gates. I mean, keep it simple, stupid, to begin with, right? No, it did not work. I have three more, so let's just...
Okay, now I'm over budget. That's not gonna work, is it? What's stopping me from doing that? Hang on. The problem is I get here. What am I missing? I'm missing something obvious here. I can't get to the second switch. Hmm. I mean, this is as far out as I can take it. I'm not quite sure what this wants me to do. Wait, I can do that? Okay, oh my god. Well, that changes shit. Okay, it was easy. I don't know you could... Alter the, uh, the other ones. And then free one. What's free one? There's 73 tracks. What? <laughs> okay. Yay! All right, that was railbound. Pretty, pretty fun. I, I enjoyed this one. Um, a pretty chill little puzzle game. Hundred plus levels. Yeah, we'll see how much it costs. I'll probably add that one to my wish list and then maybe pick it up. It's on sale. I was thoroughly entertained by this one. All right. On to the next one, we still got more to do. But we are getting through this list. Give me a minute to set it up. Okay, hold on. Just a sec, chat. Okay, that worked. That, that was, uh, that was the game. Alright, this one is Anvil Saga. Being a smith isn't easy. Do you need a tutorial? Sure. Well then. This is more like a barn than a home. Nothing to be done about it. At least the smithy itself is in decent condition. Control the camera, okay. Zoom out using the mouse wheel, okay. You will be managing a medieval smithy, and the main source of income for a smith is, of course, his orders. Let's open the shop for business and accept your first order. To do that, press the sign next to the stall with the left mouse button. Your first customer. 
take a look at the order window, you will find an item, the resources needed for its creation, and the reward. Okay. Accept it. People won't wait forever. They'll leave if their patient runs out before the order is complete. Your orders will appear in your order feed. Accept another order by pressing the green check mark in the orders UI. And then watch the feed. The green check mark. Green check mark. Accept another order by pressing the green check mark in the orders UI. I don't see a green check mark, am I blind? Chat, do you see a green check mark anywhere? I see a padlock, but nothing else. Oh, it's scrolled off to the side. Fucking hell. Okay, I see. When working, you can prioritize. Okay, there we go. One and two. Got it. To raise the order's priority... It needs a little indicator that says, hey, there's stuff over here. Just as a first time dummy. You can right click to raise auto priority or lower it. Okay. There can be five priority levels in total. Okay. I already did. Priority one, priority two. Click on the anvil and start foraging. Wait. Priority one, priority two. There we go. I, I did right click it. Okay, it's at work. The smith spends resources and receives gold after completing the order. Once the product is complete, it automatically is given to the customer. Orders are made of ingots. Ingots are smelted from ore, which can be mined or purchased. You don't have to access... You don't have access to a mine yet, so let's order some. Open the merchant store. Okay. Bye. All goods from the store are delivered by courier. You'll have to wait a bit before he arrives. In the meantime, you can smelt... The rest of the ore. One piece of ore is good for one ingot. The smith will smelt ingots one after another until they run out of ore. I can see this getting super stressful. <laughs> now complete the second order. You have more than enough ingots. Hurry up before he gets tired of waiting. Great job, you can spend the money you've earned on upgrading the smithy and building new rooms. Before building, let's close the stall. Closing the stall tells your customers that no new orders are being accepted, but those who are waiting for their orders will stay. Okay. Close. I just did that! This could use some furniture and an annex for the kitchen. Enable building mode. I think I glitched it. Out. Build a new room. Choose the room type. Wait, what?
Hold on. Close the st The store is still open! Close the store, build a room. Okay, choose the room type. Change the room structure. I don't get how this works. It doesn't bring up anything. Shit. There's people coming for business. Close the shop. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Um, no, it's, it's glitched. It's glitched. <laughs> I couldn't accept the order. You can't buy anything now. I'm trying- I, I can't close the store. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me close the store. People are coming to my store and I can't accept the order. I can only deny them. They get angry. But I can't close my store. And I can't- I can't build anything. Nothing pops up. Okay, hold on. I need my glitch passive. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this as quick as we can. Open the store. Accept the order. Okay. Accept another order. Done. Priority one. That is priority two. Let's just not fuck up the closing of the shop like before. Okay. Shop is closed. <laughs> Building mode. Add room. How does this work? Here? Oh, here. There we go. Build a room. Price 100. Roof type. Slanted. Okay. I see. Each room's construction takes time. You'll have to wait for the builder to finish their work. You can purchase furniture right away, so let's set up your first living room. You'll need a table, a bed, and a chair. Um, place a bed. Okay. Uh, straw bed. We go budget. Budget stool. And a table. Man, this is just wanting- I just want to play Terraria now. <laughs> just seeing this. Where's the light source? Excellent, now I have a place to sleep. We can do the kitchen later. Now I can bring my wife and son over. Thirteen years later. That's it. Hold the hammer tight and swing your arm and strike the blank. I can't. 
I'll never become a master like you. Listen, when your mother and I came to France, we didn't have a single penny on us. Nothing. But fire in the eyes and my old instruments. Really? Not a single penny? Not more than a couple of talas, to be sure. This is Arthur, the hero of the story and your main character. Since childhood, he's been helping his father in the forge, but he's pretty good in any kind of craft. Arthur, my son, make ingots at the smelter. We have a lot of work today. To complete orders, you'll need ingots. Ingots are smelted out of ore. Okay. Yep. Excellent work, son. Go flip the sign. We're opening. Okay. Look, it's Finley. His whole family comes to the fair every year. The young lady next to him is his daughter, Olivia. Is it the merchant from Gascony? Yes, judging by the look on his face, he's happy with my forging. There goes Jean-Jacques Jr. Ugh, I can't stand the guy. There, there. His father is a respectable craftsman, and Jean-Jacques Jr. isn't too slow either. Though, he didn't inherit his father's talent. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Learn how to conduct business, because that's what he excels at. Oscar, you are here too. How are you faring? Thanks for the instruments and the harness is also perfect. Glad to see you at the fair. What brings you here, Finley? I'd like to order a small trinket, a brooch for my beloved daughter. Do this for me, would you? It's a piece of cake, right son? You got this. Monsieur Finley and Mademoiselle Olivia, I'm glad to see you both. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Oscar. Why didn't you order the brooch from my father? His shop is just over there. For a lady as charming and fair as Olivia, I could have given you a discount. Thank you, John jacques but Oscar and I have gone through hell and high water together. Any orders I have are only for him. Well then, let's see how Arthur does it. Sometimes you'll have to make a choice that will affect events in the story. You see, you'll see one of them now. Each option has a, success, a chance of success and failure. Study them carefully. You won't be able to go back on your choice. Use the jewel, make a simple brooch. Use a fake jewel. My father brought a jewel for Baron's ring with them. I could probably use it. Use the jewel. Make a simple brooch. Excuse me, but how the fuck is taking the risk? The risk has a higher success rate than the simple option. Using a fake jewel. So, okay, quality, less quality, dodgy as fuck. 50-50 chance that if you're dodgy as fuck, they won't notice. Interesting. Dad, it's all done, here. Good lad, it's all done. It's lovely, isn't it? Let me see. The work is absolutely stunning, look. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Never would have thought Arthur had made it if I hadn't seen it for myself. Do you really think your blacksmiths are the only ones who know their way around the forge? My Arthur is a natural. My god, what a marvel. Thank you so much. Dad, look at the way it glitters in the sun. Wow, my friend, I'm impressed here. I'll gladly pay you extra. You better be ready. I'll tell everybody about your skills. Hello, blacksmith. Still working hard? Yes, more or less. My son's helping out a lot. He's even much better than me at some things now. Ah, he really looks like you. Now then, will you make me a ring? We'll do our best. Get to it, son. Good day, esteemed baron. If you'd given the order to my father, you'd already have your brand new ring. I'm aware of your father's skills as a craftsman. However, Oscar can do the same work for half the price and guarantees quality. The merchant's daughter's brooch was encrusted with a jewel. I'll have to make something up when the Baron arrives. Use a fake rule. Oh, shit. Okay, I see. 
30% success rate, the Baron will be angry. Roll the dice. One in three. One in three. One in three. One in three. Seems you messed it up. Anyway, we'll work it out. Well, the ring is ready. Let's have a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Give that to me. Why, it's just glass! When did you become an expert on gemstones, John jacques Well, it seems to me that isn't my gem, right? Um... The gem, I changed it for another. What a scumbag. At least you didn't hide it. You ruined my ring. Oh, you'd be flogged right about now, but I'm in a good mood today. Oi, God, hand me your sword. Um, does Sir wish to duel? It won't be a real duel, really. We'll just swing our swords around a bit so that the youngster can realize his mistake. Sir, I already understand my mistake. Can I bet on Sir Baron's victory? Oof, you sure gave me a drubbing. Well, all right, you fight well. Devil knows, but you do. That means the truth is on your side. To hell with this ring. I'll send a new gem. You'll do it real quick without extra pay, and we call it quits. Got it? Oof, I get it. All right, I do. See ya, and tell your father that I ordered him to watch you closely. Well then, Jean-Jacques Jr., take me to your father. Maybe he'll honor my request. Follow me, please. We'll do our best. Looks like it's time for us to head home. Close down the stall. Let's go, son. Father, what do you think about me and Olivia? Can we be friends? Shut the fuck up, boy. A true warrior talks about women and then shuts the fuck up about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when I read that sentence, I just thought of God of War. We are just not their equal son, but... In a merchant's family, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. Cheer up. Everything is in your hands. My father's words were no surprise to me. Inequality is both the scourge and the foundation of our society. However, the sincere smile and charming eyes of the merchant's daughter made my heart ache. The fair was coming to an end, so we gathered our belongings and set off home. It was the last fair I got to visit with my father. The disease hit him hard, and but even to his last breath did he did his best to transfer his knowledge and skills to me, even when he could barely hold a hammer in his trembling hands. I had no choice but to make my father proud and to become a decent apprentice. This is dark. You have a small house and forge at your disposal. It's not much, but still better than starting from scratch. Here your glorious path to wealth in the heart of your beloved girl begins. But all this lies far ahead, and for now, kindle the forge. Time to blow dust off my father's anvil. Let's see what I can remember. Okay. Let's prepare some ingots before we open. I worked in a fast food job as a teenager prep work is important you got to be ready before you start taking orders otherwise you'll become overwhelmed okay and let's buy a crate of ore all right let's do that bye okay and we open Very well. There you go. We'll continue smelting. I wish I could find a few coins. What does that mean? Oh no, there's there's a hunger system in this game. No. 
I'm, yeah, I, I have to keep an eye on that. Just a sec. My legs hurt. There you go. Just a sec. All right now. I'm running out of ore again. Time to dig a shaft. Sooner or later, you'll start expanding your own forge, building more rooms and digging even deeper into the earth. Each forge needs a constant supply of ore. You can purchase it from the trader, but it's much more efficient to mine it yourself. Let's dig a shaft right in our cellar to expand and upgrade the forged queue. Close it. We're closed now. We are closed! Out of room. Upgrade the stall. Build a room. Regular room? Each room construction, you'll have to... Okay, that's fine. I guess go back to work. May as well, right? We are reopen. Whilst the new room gets built. Faction skills. Content will be available in future updates. Consumables. Just give me a couple of days. What? Oh. Jeez. That didn't pop up right away. Excellent, now choose the type of room. Okay. Close the shop. Sorry. We are closed. Choose the room type, that one. Working rooms, warehouse, mine. Requirements, basement and crate. Uh, crate. Okay. <laughs> um... That holds food, right? Shit. Can anyone read that? What does it require? It requires a basement and... Straw bit. Hang on. They, they appear to have missed some... A warehouse, hold on. It requires a basement and a crate. Kitchen cabinets and chests, but that's... <laughs> I can't tell what... Like, that to me looks like a crepe, but if I buy it and it's not it... Ah, oh, screw it. Did that- did that count? Okay, that was a crepe. So what is a basement? Does that mean mine entrance?
Okay. Yeah, that uh, that is that is not great. Okay, but that that works now. Okay. Um. Workers. Doesn't work. Send your workers to sleep so they can regain energy. The more comfortable the bed, the faster the character rests. That's fine. I bought food as well. I can't hire yet. At a low level, the worker will receive damage. Can be eating. Okay, we haven't. We don't have a kitchen yet, so. I guess let's open again. Uh, hold on. I don't have enough to afford anything else, so let's just get one of these. The wind smells bad. Some great banter. I can only really afford to do maybe two more jobs before I run out of ore. Alright, let's earn some money. We'll have to figure out how the mines work in a minute. That fine. But how did how do you know what it? Do I have to go debt collect? I guess popularity, which is probably not a good thing at the moment. It would suck to be popular. Okay, we need to close the shop after this. I don't have the ore. I can see this is becoming pretty addictive. Oh, you can fast forward. There you go. Alright, let's open again. By the time someone arrives, that should... Oh, he paid me. There you go. I should look at cooking some food after this one. The base in the forest went gone. Will you help me out? What do you mean it went gone? It's hard to work in the forge alone. The village chief has sent you three young men who want to become your apprentices. This young man is new to the village. He came from Gascony. 
My name is Theris, Master Blacksmith. Monty is the local trickster and rascal. He tries to look like a nobleman in everything he does. <laughs> what? My name is Monty, sir. I've wanted to become your apprentice for ages, if you will have me. And this is Stone, the winner of all the fights and wrestling contests in the village. Looks like a rock. Okay. I can do all sorts of things, and I'm strong as an ox. I'm sure I'll be useful. Which one of them is worthy of becoming your apprentice? Relations with England will get worse by 10 points. Relations with France will improve by 5 points. Relations with England will get worse by 10 points. Relations with France will get worse by 10 points. Relations with bandits will improve by 15. Relations with England, 5 and... Fr so, it's either... Fuck England, fuck France, or fuck them both and become a pirate. The, those are the options. Glory to the Commonwealth. <laughs> you now have an apprentice. He will need a room where he can rest after hard work. Keep an eye on his level of fatigue and pay his salary on time. Your apprentice's skill will improve with time. Monty has the gift of the gab. So you can talk... Int any client into paying extra. And now let's get to it. Accept and successfully complete five orders. Okay. <laughs> the forger's workers will demand to be paid for con to continue work. A refusal will upset them, and if their mood drops further, they will leave the forge. If you want to get rid of a worker, you don't need to remove the stairs to the cellar. You can just fire them. Okay, hold on. For fuck's sake. You are a smith, right? In the name of his majesty, Dolph of France, I'm authorized to collect land tax for the good of our country. All of you just prey on honest people, no matter what you call yourselves. Are you paying or not? France demands you pay. So we're in France, and we just decided to go against the French. This is great. I'll pay it this time. <laughs> um, okay, he's just standing there, so hold on. Pause. This is good, we can pause. Okay. Oh, I see. Hold on. No, you're going to do orders, and I'm going to go into the mines. You got this, buddy. Oh, he only smiths, he doesn't smelt, really? Come on, hurry up, we need- we need to get this done. Alright, I'm closing the shop. <laughs> we must catch up. I'm getting hungry. Reopen the shop. I guess I gotta go feed my character and... Hang on. Get to work. It would be nice if it had established that I was in France a bit more obvious. 
Your character has received a new trait. Characters can receive negative and positive traits. Each affects the character's behavior in a specific way. Carefully read the trait descriptions and pick the best assignment for each worker. Um, okay, hold up. Must read. Hang on, an employer must read the jewelry book. What? Hold on, pause. What do you mean? Constant work at the forge made this worker dislocate an arm. The worker can't use the anvil and workbench for some time. What the fuck? While this worker was in the mine, a whole nest of spiders fell on him. Whenever he works in the mine, there is a 10% chance of looking around to watch out for these creatures. What do I see as traits, though? Um, anyway, the traits window didn't pop up. I can't really accept the order here. An employer must read jewelry... ...books to complete the order. Does that mean I can do it? No. Can't accept it. I can't accept it. I don't know how to work on it. I would have done it, but I am hurt. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, close the shop. We need we need to make food. This is a kitchen, right? Okay, yeah, that worked. Uh, is he ready to work yet? No, his arm is still dislocated. <laughs> I will- I will wait. Okay. Hopefully by the time the customer gets here, his arm will no longer be dislocated. Okay, you're done eating, get back- get back on here. There we go. Get to work. Why won't you smelt? Oh, because we don't have any ore, that's why. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, bye. Uh, seems everyone's talking about war, like they've got nothing better to do. 
More than anything, I hope the war doesn't reach this place, or both of us will end up doing hard labor instead of hard work. Okay, we can do this, and then we close. Okay, never mind. He, he ran away. Okay, so... It said he needed a, a place to sleep, right? Build a room 100. I don't have enough. Never mind. What's... Um, alright, you're gonna have to take a nap, my dude. Okay, I can, yeah, I can see this, uh... Really being a time sink. <laughs> Doing this for hours on end. Alright, fast forward it. We'll get him to do a bunch of smelting. And then we'll swap over. Okay. He's nearly ready. We'll go make him prepare a meal. And then go to bed. Now we swap over. Yeah, this is interesting. Kind of dig it. The higher a forge's prestige, the more appealing it'll look to rich clients. By increasing your forge's prestige and upgrading the store, you can attract money bags who are willing to pay much more for their order than peasants. In addition, stall upgrades will increase your maximum workshop storage space for wooden ingots. Prestige is increased when you complete orders, but it has its up and limit. Upgrade the house decorations to increase your prestige limit. With a store like this, you can only expect bumpkins. Time to change the ramshackle shed for something more respectable. To upgrade your stall, stall and upgrade. Upgrade the stall. I don't think I can do it. Upgrade the stall. 200 coins. Alright, I can't do it yet. Eat the food. We must earn some money before we can upgrade the stall. The working can... I don't understand how that works, but sure. I can't do it, sorry. Okay, he's full now. Buy some more food. Go get some rest, my dude. Apparently I can't buy anything now. So my energy's high. Okay, one sec.
Oh, he's feeling bad. Okay. Swap over. We need to get rest. I don't really see an option for books, so... Buy another cr Ugh, But see... Okay. I've never seen this merchant before in our village. Stone, go find out who it is and what he wants. I love how he just drops the word, the work halfway. Hey, big guy, call the owner. I didn't come here all the way from Langdok to talk to an apprentice. Get a move on, you oaf. Rude. Have you come from afar? How can I help? I came from the south and I'm setting up some trade links. I can bring you whatever you want for the best price, from Damascus steel to precision instruments. Want to work together? That might be good. Don't even think of refusing. I barely escaped the bandits myself. The roads are unsafe. The thieves and bandits gather like vultures where armies have passed recently. You should agree I'm the bravest merchant of those prepared to offer their services to you. Bandits are all we need right now. If we're talking business, would you be so kind to take an order for me? What should I make you? Without a good supplier, there is no smithy business. If I can complete the order well, Antonio will supply me with indispensable goods from faraway lands. But he's a dick. <laughs> he's a dick! I can't reject it, apparently. Okay. Jeez. Get to work! Hang on, we have to- sorry, we have to close. Oh, we're not gonna get it. 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 Ah! Got it. Now we need to order more ingots. Oh no! 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 Okay. Shit. No, we don't. We're okay. Working together, this should work, okay. I think I just missed out on that other one, but whatever. That was a bit unfortunate on the timing. Hopefully no one gets a broken arm or something. See, this is why you do prep work. What am I doing? Just do that. Okay, hold on. Now we need to buy. Um, shit. Go into the mines quickly. You can do both. Okay, I get to work.
Hopefully this is enough. Okay. Well then, not bad, not bad. I can see you're a reliable one. My shop is at your disposal. I'm sure we will have a profitable partnership. I'm sure you mean mutually profitable. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I meant, of course. I don't trust him. Dude seems like an ass. Okay. Uh, cook food. Hang on. Then I guess we swap. He's a okay on food. Alright, you can go out to the mines then. He only has four ingots, so... What happened? Hey there, Arthur. It's been a while. Have you decided to follow in your father's footsteps? Hey, Jean-Jacques Jr. If not me, then who? Then how is your smithy doing? Quite well off, thank you. That said, my father recently passed away, just like yours. So I'm just Jean-Jacques. It is all the will of God. I have quite grand prospects for this smithy. My condolences. Why visit our humble smithy? Can't handle the orders? We're handling them quite well. Quite well indeed. I just wanted to see how you're doing. There are only two smithies left in the province. Neither of us really need competition in times like these. What would you say if I offered to buy a smithy? You'll be my right hand man. With your talent, we could be magnificent. Thank you for the offer, but my father didn't work himself to the bone just for me to sell the forge. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think you'd give us so easy. Well, next fair we'll see how we compare. By the way, I saw Trader Finley's daughter Olivia a few days ago. She has blossomed into quite the beauty. Be sure to pay them a visit. I'm not surprised, she's always been fair. Why do you care? Well, you know. Just remembered how you looked at her back at the fair. Finley will only agree that she marry a rich man. He's a smart one. So don't get your hopes up. And do think about my offer to buy the forge. Thank you for the advice, Jean-Jacques. Good to see you as always. I must take my leave. My work isn't going anywhere, and I don't have the time to wander around and get up in people's business. You're a good lad, Arthur. Shame you'll have to work in the fields before long. Have fun with your smithy while you still can. Alright. Guy, guy is dickhead confirmed. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna be a while before we can... Upgrade. I'm trying to time box this, so... Hold on. I shouldn't spend on ore because then... It just means this is gonna take longer. Alright, open the shop. I think we can do business now. I have 12 in the backlog. Ah, uh, sorry. No debt. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, God damn it! Get out of bed. You have to work on this. Okay, priority one. Priority two. Hold on. 
Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, no, this is this is gone to shit. I accidentally cancelled it. Well then, this is not going well. How about I play at normal speed? I took an influx of orders and this dickhead refused to work. Okay, get to work. Close the shop. <laughs> that's a that's a soldier that's going to fuck me over. Open the shop. Okay, so there's no downside for just closing the shop the moment you see a soldier. Okay, that's that's a man of the church. I'm not sure if that was a soldier, but I wasn't going to take a chance. Said no weapons. Oh, shit. No, sorry. Sorry, it's my lunch break. He needs food. Arthur will be up soon and then we can do whatever. It's probably best I send him to the mines, to be honest. Workers need to be fed regularly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a slow grind. Okay. Open the shop. Eat. Do I really have to tell you to eat? We need to catch some frogs. Okay, with nails? Really? Okay, you are going into the mines, my friend. I think we can only take one more job and then I have to close the store. Yeah, and close the shop after this one. No, get back down there. All right, fast forward. Stone's energy is running low. We'll let him do it at a few times until we get to say 10 and then I'll send him to bed. You can do it, Stone. One more and then you can go to bed. Okay, go to bed. Open the shop. Two hundred gold, man. Hey.
Hang on, change room design. Hold on. No, that doesn't... Change the room design to increase fame. I feel like that's gonna take ages. Professional mercenaries, feared and respected by both peasants and nobles, have settled nearby. Order prices are higher, soldiers come more often, merchants and knights don't come. Oh no, that's not- that's not good! Close the shop before this becomes a disaster. Arthur, you're back. Your father was quite the craftsman. Such a shame. He passed away. He did good work, and most importantly, his prices were low. I see you're restoring his old business. That's right, my lord. So much work has been put into it, and it would be a travesty to let it go to whatever. Well, we always need a good blacksmith around here, especially in times of war. You know, I've always gave the best orders to your father, but... You, I'm not sure about. You'll need to earn my trust. I'll gladly prove that my father taught me everything that he knew. Good, that's the spirit. Now make me a few swords. It's fine if they're a bit dull, they just need to look good. I'm only paying you for the materials. If you can manage a simple task, I'll know you can be relied upon. You can count on me, my lord. Might I ask why you need such swords? You might not. It's a matter of national importance. Well then, Arthur, don't disgrace your father's name. Plus four ingots to make. Six ingots to make. Just average, I'm good. Oh shit, we don't have ingots. Um, okay. How long is he willing to wait? That's the question. He wants seven. Fuck. We're gonna have to get some delivered. He doesn't work on weapons, right? This dude's not a soldier technically, so... We'll see. Okay. I'm gonna make them work together. Rise and shine. Okay, it does give you plenty of time to do it. Uh, Arthur needs to eat. Okay, hold on. Let him do one more trip and then we'll make him eat. Okay, start crafting. Wait, you didn't eat! There's no food, is there? I know there is, okay. How are you doing? You're doing okay. Into the mines with you. I think we should be okay. Okay. 
Alright, that'll do. He needs rest. So, Arthur, are my swords ready? Of course, my lord. I did the best I could. Hope you like them. Well, work like this would have earned you a wallop from your father, but eh, it'll have to do. I was expecting more of you, but there's some potential, I suppose. If you pull yourself together and work diligently enough, maybe you'll become my courtsmith. Father would have really loved that. I'll do my best, my lord. Um, okay, we, we nearly got this. No, 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 you keep sleeping, dude. This is unfortunate because I'm gonna get a lot of soldiers and this guy doesn't make weapons. So he's gonna be relegated to mining duties, I guess. Okay, open shop. I don't want to overdo this, so let's just... Okay, one more job and that should be the 200 I need. Can't make it, sorry. Close the shop. Alright, now what is going on here? Required fame level 50. Okay, no, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I can't... There's, there's like a couple more things I wanna look at. This is fun, but... This is like hours upon hours to do this. If I'm understanding this correctly, I need to do this. Right? Which will cost 40. Yeah, no, this is gonna take forever. Okay. I think this was a nice look at this. It's surprisingly addictive. Um, it has potential. Alright, but I'll, I'm gonna leave it at that. Because uh, I do have one more thing I want to check out. It's not bad. Alright, let me set up the next one. That was pretty cool. One moment. Okay, so this one's called The Block. Okay, so you can rotate the camera that way. Or you can... Oh, you can rotate like that. Okay, cool. So what is this? It's... It's a little city builder. But from, right, from what I understand, it randomly generates the tile that you're gonna place down. So you can kind of design your own little city. It's 
It's a weird one, this one. Ah, uh, oh, you can. Okay, so it clears it. Okay, so you, can, you always have to go with uh, what's there. Is it like Dorphromatic if I know it? I don't know it, no. I kinda wish I had the option to not place buildings, but I guess it is what it is. like my creation. It's just not bad. It's kind of enclosed in. Okay, now it's... Now it's getting unwieldy again. Alright, there's, there's my little creation. It's a time demo, I've noticed. I only get a few minutes at it. This is a weird one. But I mean, it looked visually interesting. So I was like, ah, let's, let's give it a go. What's the objective? There, There is no objective. It's just a little, little generator thing. But I mean, this is, this is a small tile set. From what I've seen in the screenshots, they can get very big. I don't like that. That's ugly. Too many building. Yeah, it doesn't let you do anything except medium. Do it until it runs out. I do like the art style and the colors, it's pretty nice. I don't know what it is with the background though, the audio.
plus H. Oh, hide it. Okay, so you can go. <laughs> Where's our tile? There. No, there's another one missing. Okay, quickly, 40 seconds, speed. No thinking. World record. You know what? For me, clicking randomly, that one actually doesn't look half bad. It looks like there's streets and structure, whereas in the other ones, they've been just building heavy. Yeah. That was, that was neat. I like it as a quick little checkout thing. This would be something where... It would have to be pretty cheap to pick up. I can't imagine spending more than a couple bucks on this. It's very novel, but yeah. <laughs> it's... I mean, maybe with the larger maps it gets more in-depth with the tiles, but... From what I saw here, eh, It's nice. Visually looking great, but... I question how much time you'll get out of it. Okay, we're nearly- we're nearly there. Just loading up the next one. Okay, this one's called Terra Nil. So, from what I've seen of this one, you start with a barren wasteland, and then you kind of do things to, uh, bring it back. Just seemed like another chill title, so I figured check it out. Your goal is to rejuvenate this wasteland by covering the landscape in greenery. Before you begin, try panning and moving your mouse to the edge of the screen. Alternatively, you can hold the middle mouse button. Yeah, that's better. Was the Okay. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. Okay. Now that you have power, you can clean soil, toxin scrubbers. You can see that it, with what you're doing, it slowly starts taking shape. Okay, clean soil provides perfect place to grow greenery. Irrigators. I mean, it, can I rotate it? I think I can rotate it, right? But you can rotate it, cool. Hold on. You need to increase the greener in the landscape to get greenery to the target of- yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty chill.
Okay, we need another wind. Repeat the process, so now we go... You can go here. You can go here. I think this is a pretty interesting concept. And then the world kind of opens up. This is kind of inefficient. Okay, let's just... I wonder if it can reach. If it can, that's great. Okay, there we go. We've got a water pump going. Calcifier. Okay, more, more of that. Excavator. So yeah, you're terraforming the land a bit now. One more. There. Alright, now it's green. Okay, we've got another wind here. Hold on. What did I do wrong here? Oh yeah, and then the generator, All right. Generator one. Generator two. I want to cover this whole area up properly. Getting there. Okay, another windmill here. Another power generator here. I mean, this is pretty nice, right? Okay. Alright, so what I want to do now... Hang on.
Bombs away. Oh shit, it didn't work. <laughs> Hang on. Can I move something once it's been placed? Do it again. Bombs away! Okay, there's the water. I've only got 40 green energy left. Yeah, undo. We need to expand more. Okay, up here. I'm out of green energy. Hold up. I think I may have failed the target here. <laughs> and that's up to 166. All right, cool. I see how this works now. I can do another one of these, and then... But that doesn't work either. I messed up with this cannon thing. Hold up. Let's start again. <laughs> I messed it up. That cannon thing did not work in my favor. Now... I'm gonna make sure that this corner of the map is covered. Gives maximum. I guess I go with the one that gives the most area. Okay. Add wind here. Add this here. Calcifier. Add another one further up. I think I get how this works now.
Okay, this is going much better now. There was a 130 there, that one. Okay, another windmill here. I think I need to put another calcifier here. That'll let me put another windmill here. And then this can happen. Okay, and now... Hundred and fourteen? Alright, that's decent. I'm just thinking. I should get another windmill up here. There we go. Here. Calcify uh, here. You have run out of resources. Hang on. No, I have not. <laughs> I have not run out of resources. Wait, now I have. I only got up to 77. Dude, it must be really hard to get up to a hundred. Okay, uh... Yeah, this isn't really giving me much. Okay. No one here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this 
completely green. Ninety-four percent. Okay, uh Okay, I can do that. Oh, but I'm out of... Ooh. What can I get? That only get me to 96. <laughs> I may have messed up. Hang on. I don't think I can do anything with these two moves. Plus 15 is the best I can get out of it. Plus 53, okay. Okay, okay, there we go, and then... That'll get us to 100. You have successfully repopulated this wasteland with plant life. Now increase the biodiversity of this ecosystem by restoring three biomes. Press the two tab to access new buildings. Oh. Okay, so there's more to this. Research center. Reduces the cost of scrubbers, pumps, calcifiers, excavators, makes excavators smaller. Where do I have a lot of calcifiers here? Beehive. Okay. Whoa. Arbitorium. Uh, let's put that. Yeah. Wait. Is there anything compatible? No. What's this? Solar amplifier. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Hydroponium, wetland and resources, okay. I don't think I have any <laughs> compatible. What is this? Starts a controlled burn. Oh uh, no. Guess it's still another beehive. This is pretty satisfying to see. So why is this not compatible? Can only be built on an irrigation near water and not on high ground. Because this is on high ground. We need an excavator. Okay. 
Okay, now we have something compatible. Wait, no we don't. What? That didn't achieve anything. Or is that still on high ground? It's still on fucking high ground, oh my god. Okay, hold on. That should work, right? Okay, it works. It created wetland. I need more green now. So what does this require? Hold on. Uses nutritious ash to create forest can only be built. Oh, okay. Controlled burn. That's interesting. Uh, that's not, that doesn't look controlled to me. That seems to be destroying everything. Okay. Oh, no, scratch that. Wow. That was kind of neat. But I'm kind of out of uh, <laughs> green now. Okay, hang on. Dude, this is really interesting. Okay, and now I can... That only gave plus 10. I mean, it's pretty much back to normal. It's kind of crazy that how this bottom corner's gone. Plus 92, okay. That's the one.
This has been pretty interesting. Okay, and then... Tia. Scrub the land. More scrub. Green. It's plus 92. We'll do that one. Okay, I need to... do this, because we need more. And then another calcifier here. A windmill... Can we do it? Probably too close. Undo. Okay, in that case... It can't be on high ground, right? No wetlands. That's so annoying. This map's on high ground. Okay, bear with. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. <laughs> that worked. Now... I'm hoping that'll let me make it up. Yes, there we go. Oh, but not enough. Okay, I need to... What can I do to increase green cheaply? Hang on. Undo. Before we do that, I need to make more green. It's a plus 10, plus 27. There we go. Okay. How much does that leave? 44. I think that's enough. No, it's not. It's not quite enough. It's only going to get plus 43. That's not bad. It's not enough. I'm not sure I can complete this. What's some low hanging fruit I can do? I'm pretty sure the forest is what it as good as it can be.
land lighting fires, yeah, but that's... I won't have enough to light a fire. This map was rather unfortunate. Oh, hello. Okay, there's some, there's some energy. Whoa! Look at that. I mean, little, little gains here and there. This is really cool. Okay. I guess one more. That's negative 10. Negative 19. Okay, hold up. I think I can do this now. pump it. Oh, but I can't. I might still be able to do this. I may have overdone this. This might be it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't have enough. Uh, I can do a 30. This is like a weird little puzzle. It's interesting. I don't think I have any recourse here. I can install a water pump, but I'm, I'm not sure it'll do anything. What does this do? Nothing. I kind of fucked up here. That didn't really do anything.
I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I could have done this, but I messed up my my planning a little. Okay. That was cool. Didn't get to see the next state of it, but that's the general idea of it. I quite enjoyed it. It's pretty neat. Very relaxing. It'll be interesting to see how much more in-depth it gets, but... Alright, I got one last one, and then we'll leave it be. Give me a sec to set it up. Right, so this one's called Potion Permit. Picked my interest cup it had uh, some Stardew vibes to it. That's okay, I don't see my mouse cursor, which is interesting. I wonder if it's controller. No, okay, it says select. Okay, hold up, this might be controller. Let me do this. Okay, cool. Character, just go with default. Name. Do I... Okay, hang on, can I type? No, I can't type. I just want to jump straight into it. It looks like there's quite a bit of ca character customization, which is nice. Oh, this looks nice. Digging the sprite work. The big question is, can you pet the doggo? Ah, excuse me. Shambles, it's me, Dr. Nesta from the Medical Association. I'm on my way to meet our colleagues on Moonberry Island. The Association HQ asked me to say hello to you, since we're taking the same train. Oh my, I didn't realize you were bringing your dog along. Isn't he adorable? What's his name? Oh. Nox, really? That, that's the default? Okay. Such an adorable name. Are you going to help out on Shambles' important assignment chat? We're almost at Moonberry Station. While you're on the island, you'll be representing the Medical Association. Do you have everything in order? This is a valuable opportunity for us. We're all counting on you. If you're successful, we may finally be allowed to establish a branch on the island. Here we are. Let's get going. <laughs> the waddle. Oh, the very first thing I'm gonna try is pet the dog. That's the sign of a good developer if Doggo is allowed to be pet. 
This is at Shambles, Moonberry Island. And here are our colleagues. Please allow me to introduce Moira and Colin. Hi. Nice to meet you. You must be the new chemist. We've already talked to the mayor. He's waiting for you up ahead by the town gate. The association is counting on you. Don't let us down. Oh, don't let her worry you. Hey, you brought along your medical journal, right? Remember to check and update it regularly. And make sure to be polite and helpful. You're the association's first representative here. Well, you'd better get going. Good luck, Shambles. Do you think Shambles will manage on their own? I have my doubts. But I'm excited to see what happens. Let's head back to the capital. Very detailed sprite work. Shambles, we've been expecting you. Allow me to welcome you to Moonberry. My name is Maya. I'm the mayor. This is my wife, Marielle. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. It was me who sent that letter to the capital. You see, our daughter needs help. Our Rue has been feeling off color for a very long time. We've been trying to find a cure for her, but as yet to no avail. But with your help, we hope she'll get better. Oh dear. Anyway, Rue is currently being seen by Moonberry's local witch doctor. It will be some time before she returns. But before that, I should tell you a little about Moonberry's previous dealings with chemists from the capital. Would you be so kind as to come with us? Before I explain everything, I'd like to introduce you to everyone. Waddle Doggo. Good evening, everyone. We've come together tonight to welcome a guest. Please allow me to introduce Shambles. Shambles is a chemist sent by the Medical Association. As you are all aware, our daughter has been sick for a long time. My wife and I are still trying to find a cure for her illness. With that in mind, we have sought assistance from the capital. I hope you all give Shambles a warm welcome. A chemist, I see. Never thought I'd see another chemist in our town. We know you're desperate for a cure, but you want to watch what who you bring in, Maya. A chemist will shiver me timbers and create... I hate reading pirate, pirates, just as a side note. I have crewmates more competent than this here novice. It just messes my brain somehow. Nobody from the capital can be trusted. Have you forgotten what they did? That and old... Old English. Like Shakespearean. Oh man, does that mess with me. Now, now, won't anyone make a newcomer feel welcome? Please forgive us. Everyone is just a little excited. Now, if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you to your lodgings. This old building used to be our previous chemist's house. Its former owner moved away a long time ago. Now that it's empty, you can take it over. Convenient doghouse. I realize it might be rather odd to you that not everyone here is overjoyed about your presence. We have... Uh, we rather have a history of incidents involving the medical association. Our relationship has been rather disastrous so far. I imagine they haven't told you a single word about it all this in the capital. 
You'll learn more about it as you discover the island. Let's come back to all of this after you've rested, shall we? And please don't forget our request. Our daughter needs your help. I'll see you tomorrow, Shambles. Good night. Sleep well. Good chat. You can move your character around freely. While you are running, your dog will follow you wherever you go. Sadly, he's not allowed to come inside the house. You can interact with some of the obstacles around you. You will see a sign whenever you are close to interactable objects. When you are close to multiple interactable objects, you can navigate between them. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Xbox controls, what's X? <laughs> please, please developers, I beg of you. More developers need to detect what controller you're using. The PS4 controller is not that unpopular. That's okay. I'm caving and I'm getting an Xbox controller because this has become such a problem. You can decorate your room with the available furniture. Try to interact with the floor plan object to start decorating your room. You can acquire more furniture by purchasing them from the bulk and build. Good morning, Shambles. I trust you slept well. Excellent. Allow me to introduce Xiao, my assistant. Very nice to meet you. I work with Mayor Maya at the town hall. I was hoping the two of you would get along. If there's anything you need, Xiao will be able to assist you. As it's your first day, I'd like you to start getting to know our island. I've asked one of our rangers to meet you near Meadow Range and show you the ropes. To get there, cross the bridge to the south, then head east. He also has some things prepared for you. Well, you'd better be off. Our ranger, Forrest, is waiting for you as we speak. A ranger called Forrest, okay. We're going to have a captain called Ocean. Your highlighted quest will be shown. Okay. Minimap, top right, objectives, got it. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, I mean, the character sprites, very, very polished, and the rest of it... I mean, I imagine that they're adding detail. They're, they're good sprites. But there's, there's some things that I imagine are, are going to get better as this gets closer to release. But this already looks very, very charming. Okay, now the big question. Can I pet Doggo? Your dog will occasionally tell you how it feels. You can see this emoticon sometimes above its head. You need to whistle for your dog before interacting with them. But you won't be able to whistle for him when he's too far away. Your dog loves food and to be petted. By feeding and petting your dog, your bond will start to grow. He is a loyal and helpful pet, especially if you develop a close bond. Okay. Good developer confirmed you may pet the doggo. I don't have food, I'm sorry. I can pet you more. All the pets. Um, I should probably stop and get the dog some food. Is there a run button? No, it's same pace always. 
Uh, maybe here? Do you have dog food? Okay, it's an open... Yeah, I guess this is more of an inn. I was hoping they'd have bar food or something, but I guess not. Ten AM Okay, it's it's not open just yet. Why did you make the dog hungry? I can't go on my first quest and have a hungry dog. That's not right. That's a tailor. I assume this is City Hall. Yep. Okay, hang on. Monastery, Hearts and Spark Shop. Anna's House, Shao's House, Bulk and Build, Maya's House. Dev's house, Opal Heart house, police department, coach house, Nova's house, clinic, potion house, Olive's house, farm house, bath house, church. I'm gonna say Hearts and Sparks is probably the store that I wanna go to. Let the dog eat the orcs I kill. No, Hearts and Sparks is weapons, okay. How did I get the map? I don't know. I'm playing controller. There's a share button. Olive's house. Lazy Bowl Tavern. That to me says they serve food, but it's not open yet. Okay, if there is one comment I have to make about this, why does the dog have to start hungry? <laughs> it's... I'm not going- I'm not dealing with this first task until we have fed the dog. I'm not a monster. Shop. No. Uh, wait, what is it? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh... That's expensive. So, will this work? Can you get out of the way? Okay, so I can feed the dog apple juice. This is all I have, I'm sorry. Are you still hungry? Okay, doggo is not hungry. We may now set off. What is this game? Uh, potion Permit? It's one of the games from the Next Fest. You can download the demo for this currently. If you want to check it out yourself, go to the Next Fest page and look for Potion Permit. Hey there, you must be the chemist. My name's Forrest. Mayor Maya said you'd be coming this way. I've got a little something for you. Call it a welcome gift. You might need it because I've got an errand for you. I want you to gather me some herbs. I'm sure you know how, right? No, I don't. Stop it. By the way, the mayor probably told you. An accident in the past killed off many of our native plants. If only people from the capital worked responsibly, tragedies like that wouldn't happen. Whoops, me and my big mouth. Once you're done, head back to my cottage. I'll see you there. This feels like the kind of game you'd want to play on your Switch. It is pretty cozy. 
Definitely something that would be handheld worthy. Not sure what platforms it's coming out. I'm sure it'll say on the main menu somewhere. It probably did. That's all for now. Good luck out there, chemist. <sighs> okay. So it gave me three apple juice, which I could have fed the dog with, but it was unclear that I was going to get the apple juice to feed the dog. So I spent like the first 10 minutes waiting for a shop to open to be able to feed the dog. So I don't feel like a dick. Okay. That's the one comment I, I would say. Don't start the dog hungry. Assume that I fed the dog on the train. Okay, so I don't have a sword. Oh, no, little slimes. It seems to be coming to all non-fern platforms of any value. Cool. I would imagine so. Wait, you don't have a phone? How could you not have phones? Next thing you're gonna tell me, you don't have a credit card to buy gems and platinum and... Whatever the fuck currency you need to upgrade stuff. You're not gonna spend $110,000 on a single game? What? I'm getting stuff that I don't need. I need to get Basil, Jasmine, Daisy. Mushrooms. Wait, what? Oh no, hold on. Is that durability? That's durability. No, no, no. We, we should be going for what we need. There's durability. If that bar is- it's either energy or it's durability. Either way, let's conserve. I, Dr. Samuel, have been appointed to lead- okay. I'm about to get eaten by a bear and I, I stopped to, uh... Page missing, page missing, page missing. Yeah, okay, no, bye. You will encounter resources that require better foraging tools. Your tools will be slightly inefficient. Okay. Uh, is it just me or maybe I've strayed too far from the path? This, it seems I'm going further into the woods. And I would imagine everything that is required is, is nearby. All right, there's Basil, got it. What does Jasmine look like? I'm good on sh Okay, that's... That's Jasmine. I need one more. Uh-oh. Stay away. Okay. Oh no, hold on. I see the error of my ways. What kind of reminds you of Atelier Riser? Have not heard of that. But I mean, for something that is a beta, it looks really, really good. The sprite work is, is really nice. 
I imagine they're gonna polish it up a bit more as it gets closer to release. But the character stuff looks pretty neat. I kind of regret spending so much time trying to brew beer in <laughs> that game. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's fine. Did I? F did you find everything I asked for? Good job. I have to admit, I'm surprised. Now that you've completed your first task, I've got a new one for you. Find Xiao. He'll be waiting for you at the town hall. You know where the town hall is, right? Yep, I do. Okay. Atelier Riser was a 3D styled crafting game where you needed better tools to collect higher stuff and craft and stuff. Common concept, but it was same relaxed atmosphere. Okay, cool. Don't keep him waiting. There's time. Oh no, no! <laughs> it says the cutoff is at five o'clock. I can't go there. It's, okay, I, I guess I need to rest up for the day. I missed the cutoff. Damn it. Pet the doggo. The fact that petting a doggo is a core me mechanic. Wait, this isn't my house. <laughs> Where is home? That's Maya's house. Zeke's tent, Vulcan build, Hannah's house, Shao's house, Derek's house. The fuck's my house? Nova's house, Oswald's house, Coach house. I would imagine it's this one here, the unmarked one, right? I already feel more connected to this pet than the pet in Stardew. The pet in Stardew is just so inconsequential. There was a pet in Stardew? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Pretty much the only thing that it did was get in the- it would, for whatever reason, put itself in the doorway and you would have to push it to get around it. And then you just water its bowl and eventually it gives you a love heart and that's it. You don't get anything from it, it's just... Okay, am I- am I dumb? But I- I appear to have lost my house. Potion house. It's the potion house. I'm the potion maker. So, it's the potion house. The main character is named Potion? No. Yeah, I- I feel like... That would be one bit of feedback I would give. That should say the character's name's house. I mean, I know it's it's the potion house and you're the potion maker, but... For clarity's sake, this is your house.
Okay. I love how... Oh, you can give it a mushroom. No, we'll give you apple juice again. Not to alarm me, but it looks like a wall is blown out of the side of my house. Yeah, this was the best they could offer. I mean, you play it and you'll... We'll fix the house, I imagine. Well, we got- we got time to kill. We'll just give the doggo pets for a whole hour, how does that sound? Oh. Sit? Hang on, we can sit. I keep pressing- I'm using a PlayStation controller, so I keep pressing the wrong button. It's okay, that'll be remedied soon. I'll have an Xbox controller and then this probably won't happen. Not making any promises. I got nothing else to do. May as well pet doggo. Why not use the Switch controller? Because it doesn't recognize it either. And my Switch Pro controller drifts. I know you're joking, but... I, I wanted to just complain about my Switch controller. And the non-existent drift issue that Nintendo has assured everyone is non-existent. <laughs> you know, I, I think I should probably stop petting the dog because I think it's just delaying this more and more. I still have the drift issue. Oh yeah, my... My controller drifts. My pro controller drifts. And no, I'm not gonna- I'm not going to open it and try to fix it. Because I'm terrible with that sort of stuff. And I'll most likely make it worse. I already got- I already got an adapter that lets me use my PS4 controller on the Switch. It's- it's resolved. And now let me introduce you to Runeheart. So you're the chemist. I've asked Runeheart to repair the cauldron in your house. Let's head over there now. The problem is... I have large hands and I don't have any dexterity. And a lot of that stuff... Requires... Very, very careful... Disassembly. So, I'm good. So this is, a is the rusty old thing that needs a fix up. Okay, I... Put a custom case on my Joy-Cons. And one of them took over an hour to do because it was just like I could not put it back together. Easily. That's right, can you do it? Piece of cake. You have similar issues with hand size. It just took longer. It wasn't difficult, but it took two hours. Yeah, I mean... Some people are just good at that stuff. My brother can... Can assemble stuff. He's made... He made me a custom Game Boy. That was nice of him. So... But I, I looked at it this way. One of those adapters I got cheap 
for like 15 bucks. So, was the stress of disassembling the Pro Controller and potentially me spending an hour to two hours on it to maybe fix it worth it? Or should I, should I have just gotten the adapter for 15 bucks? Where then I can just use a PS4 controller that's been fine for years. I think I chose wisely. Nah, the adapter? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's me done. Take good care of her, okay? Well, now you've got yourself a working cauldron. Let's make some potions. I'm sure that won't be a problem. You're a chemist after all, right? If you need more materials, you'll find plenty of resources around Meadow Range. Once you're done, you can meet me at the town hall. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Every time you see me roll, it's because I'm pressing X on the PlayStation controller, and I should be pressing square on the PlayStation controller. The cauldron is the main tool you use to brew potions. To start creating a potion, you'll need a potion recipe. You can also upgrade your cauldron to increase its capacities. Each potion has a different puzzle shape that must be filled in. Mix and match the puzzle pieces using the materials available to you. Placing puzzle pieces that do not fit the required shape is not allowed. What is this? Some potion recipes have restrictions on the ingredients you can use. Follow the instructions carefully to start brewing. The circle frame next to the cauldron indicates the maximum quantity of materials you can use. If you exceed the maximum amount, you won't be able to start brewing. Interesting. So this is... Huh. Like a weird Tetris puzzle. And then what, rotate? Can you rotate? No rotate, okay, hang on. Is it just me or is that recipe giving me the middle finger? <laughs> well, now that you point it out. A little. I mean, this is kind of neat. Um, what about wound? All right, let's try this one. I might not. Oh, no, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. All with water ingredients. Start brewing. Relaxing bomb. I don't think I have enough to do this one. We'll see. Oh, no. Yeah, I can. Sun drops. I don't think I have enough for this one. Yeah, alright, this is... what about this one? Okay. Go to town hall between... okay, we're good. I think it's a fluke that I crafted the potions that he wanted. I was honestly not paying attention. 
I was intrigued by the design of that. <laughs> Stop commando rolling into things. Are you done with my request? Well, well, not bad, Shambles. I guess the Medical Association have sent us a decent chemist this time. We haven't won- we, are, we haven't had one round here since the accident. Anyway, I shall put together a report for Maya. I'm sure he'll be pleased. The mayor's expecting a lot of you, Shambles. That's all for today. We'll continue tomorrow. I get the feeling that this accident they keep talking about probably what happened to my house. Okay. So I guess let's go harvest some ingredients. There's no durability on the weapons, so that's that's nice. I was worried. It's just my own personal stamina, which fine. We'll go for the herbs and... I, it's interesting that there's a hunger me me mechanic for the dog, but not for me. I mean... Probably my health and stamina, but... It's interesting. I, I prefer it that way. It makes it more relaxing, but... Yeah, Doggo gets hungry, but I don't. It seems to be minor anyway. Oh no. Uh, no, I'm being greedy. <laughs> I want that! You know what this feels like? This feels like this could have been a GBA game, you know? But it's just been modernized. I think that's why I dig it. I don't know, there's something about the Game Boy Advance era that really appeals to me. I never had a Game Boy Advance, I really wanted one, but I did get to play a few games. Doggo is hungry again. Okay. Have a mushroom. I'm being a bit pacifist here. And not attacking the local f oops, sorry! <laughs> My bad. Didn't mean to. I would imagine some potions are gonna require uh, murdering a bunch of those things, but let's not think about that right now. Appear to be sweating profusely.
I may as well brew those other potions, right? Where's that cauldron? But he told me to meet him here. Or is it- it's back at my house, isn't it? <laughs> Ugh. I'm hoping as we do this story, uh, there's- because I notice there's some things in town that are kind of... So this is nice, right? But then this is broken. There's some things around town that need touching up. Like... I hope it's a case of you get to upgrade the town as well and not just your own stuff. I gotta get used to where the house is. <laughs> it's here. How can I miss it? Wait, what's this? Activate? You can fast travel to any point indicated by this red banner. Oh, this would have been useful. Okay, uh, sun drops. Oh no, I don't have- oh, we need slime. But, that's cool. We got alternatives. I mean, that's kind of nice that there's multiple ways to do things. I need more. I need to murder some slimes. Okay. Is that the lesson? Will <laughs> he said the lesson will continue tomorrow. Okay. Jambles. Ruse back. We've taken her to the Empty clinic. Come quickly, follow me. Who is this? Evil looking dude. Maya shambles. Here she is. Would you please check her over? Who is this? What are you doing here? Mateo, this is Shambles, the chemist from the capital. Shambles, this is Mateo, Moonberry's witch doctor. What is the meaning of this? You brought someone over from the capital? Mateo, let's discuss this later. First, you have to explain what happened to Rue. Uh. We still don't know what's wrong with her. I tried everything I could, but it wasn't enough. Shambles, is there anything you can do? Please help my daughter. My neck feels weird. Whenever an unknown symptom appears on a patient's body, you will identify it first through diagnosis. Once you perform the diagnosis successfully, you will know what disease the patient has. My neck feels weird. The goal of this mini- it's a mi- <laughs> it's a diagnosis minigame. The goal of this minigame is to press the button that appears, landing on the right button, and within the right 
the hitbox. You will lose progress bar points if you press the wrong button or outside the hitbox. Your performance during the minigame will affect your patient satisfaction levels. Oh no. Okay. Oh shit. No, it's a it's a fucking rhythm game. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, ah. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Come on. How is she? Will she be all right? The sunworm symptom? Yes. That's one of the symptoms, but the disease is far more complicated than we thought. You want to help? I won't let that happen. We shouldn't use an unnatural drug on Rue. But if it might help my daughter... Please, do anything you deem necessary for her sake, Shambles. What does he mean by unnatural? I go to a forest to get my ingredients. Rue is still weak, Maya. My advice is that we should use our traditional methods to find a cure. Using unnatural drugs from the capital might have side effects we're unaware of. Again, I went to a forest to make my stuff. But if they cure my daughter... Besides, Shambles can only use ingredients available on the island to cure her. Yeah, that's right. If that's what you think is best, dear. Do you really believe that? Ugh. If you mess this up, you'll pay the price. Do whatever you can for her, Shambles. Please. I mean, they could at least replace the bedding. Craft moon brime. No idea what that is, Moon Brian. But okay, hang on. Oh, there it is. I might be able to do it. Okay, what is that bottom one? I can't craft it because. Can you overlap? No overlap allowed. So we need to find whatever... Whatever the long one is. <whistles> Sorry, doggo. I haven't fed you. There you go. Hang on, I wonder if there's a place to buy. The Nick, Osmond's house, police department, coach's house, lazy ball tavern. Doesn't look like anyone sells stuff, so. At least not potion crafting stuff. I wonder what that ingredient is. Range of post from nine. Okay. Not quite there. Ah, 
I would imagine that I have to murder something. He's asking. <laughs> Cutting down a tree with the backswing. of skill, right? How's it going, Mornleaf? I'm sorry, little dude, but... Oh. If you are... Uh, a potential ingredient... Going well. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm gonna have to murder the bear. Yeah, multitasking! Bears, claw, and honey. played a lot of game demos tonight and honestly I've had a blast. All of them except one have kind of been something that I can see myself getting hooked on which is pretty decent. What no bear meat? I got a bear claw. Okay, there you go. Surely one of these will be the ingredient I need to make the moon brine. What were the game demos? Long list. Angerfoot? Let's see if I can remember them off the top of my head. There's, there's a few of them. Hang on. Okay. Angerfoot, Cult of the Lamb, Melatonin, Brewmaster, the Beer Brewing Simulator, Railbound, Anvil Saga, The Block, Terranil, and this is the final one, Potion Permit. Um, I had... So the Cult of the Lamb is a standout one. That one looks really interesting. Art style is very, very nice. And it's got kind of Binding of Isaac and Don't Starve vibes. Be interesting to see how that one fleshes out a bit more. I had a lot of fun with Melatonin. It was a rhythm game. And I'm not one for rhythm games, but that one was really cool. This one definitely is a standout, I think, as well. Um, there was, which one was it? It was the train one. That train one was really good as well. The Railbound. That's what it's called, Railbound. Anvil Saga seemed interesting as well. You're running a blacksmith. Okay, so it was the, you need a bear claw. Yeah, okay, I guess. Slime and bear claw. Okay. 
Okay, got it. Bargo is hungry, hold on. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop. <laughs> Keep commando rolling. Dude, at least re re look at replace the bedding. I'm sorry, but if you're gonna put someone sick, you don't put you don't put him don't put him down in something like that. It's horrible. Oh no, my daughter is ill. Let me put her in this bed that has sheets and pillows that have stains and bacteria all over them. Thank you, I can't wait to get back home to Papa. Vru, my dear, are you feeling any better? Yes, I think so. Thank goodness. Oh, my little girl, you're finally cured. Do you feel strange at all, Vru? No, Mama, I've never felt so good. I feel as strong as a bear. Thank you, chemist. We are profoundly in your debt. I'm glad to hear that. But you, what exactly was in that bottle? You must have given her some suspicious stuff. I mean, if you if you count slime and uh, a decapitated bear hand, <laughs> it's suspicious. There's no way she could have been cured this fast. Still lying, I see. I'll expose your little scheme. Now, 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 Mateo. Shambles is here to help, Rue. Why can't we work together to find a solution? But this kid's from the capital. Have you forgotten what they did to our island? Certainly not, but times have changed. After all, I'm the one asking for help. You're just too impatient, Mayor. We tried all sorts of methods to cure her, but nothing worked. And if change can make everyone's lives better, who am I to refuse it? I'm disappointed in you. If my commitment to this community means nothing to you, feel free to ask this capital lackey for assistance. Just don't you come running to me for help. It's alright, he used to be such a pleasant chap. I'm afraid he seems to have taken a dislike to you. He is a very idealistic person. Mariel, you'd better be off home and let Rue get some rest. Alright, darling. Have a good rest, dear. Yes, Mama. Since Rue will be in the clinic for a while, please keep an eye on her. And I shall send a letter to the Medical Association about your accomplishment. I'm sure they'll be happy to know how things are progressing. Well, I think we're done here. I shall see you again soon. I mean, this is... this is nice. But I truly believe that, uh... They would have changed the bedding, I'm sorry. <laughs> Building, yeah, fair enough, they can't fix it, but they would have fixed the bedding. Okay, this is interesting to me, this game. So I'm not going to go overboard in terms of playing it. Because I imagine this is probably something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up when it comes out. Plus, it's getting late and I do have work in the morning. So, that was Potion Permit. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed this one, too. I'll, I'll be adding some of these to my wish list so I don't forget about them, but... I'm surprised. I, I thought that there'd be more games in this bundle that I picked. Uh, that I wouldn't have enjoyed, but 
it went pretty well. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, collection of games that I selected from the the next fest thing. Um, again, everything I played tonight is still available for download. Next fest is only going for a few more days, so after that, most of these demos will be unavailable. So if you do want to check some of these games out yourself, uh, better do it sooner rather than later. At the very least, download them, and then I think you can still play them after if you just browse to the folder and just open the game. But yeah, uh, the games were in order that I played them. Angerfoot, Cult of the Lamb, Melatonin, Brewmaster, the Brewing Simulator, Railbound, Anvil Saga, The Block, Terra Nil, and Potion Permit. So, those were the games I played tonight. Uh, yeah. Alright chat, I hope you enjoyed this stream. If there's any of these games that you feel like you want me to play, let me know on Discord or whatever, and I'll consider them more. The ones that stood out for me, uh, Cult of the Lamb, Melatonin, I had a blast with, surprisingly. Really like the art style. Even though it's a rhythm game and I suck at them, I had fun with it, so I'm keeping an eye on that one for sure. Uh, Railbound was, was really good. That's a nice little puzzle game. I'll keep an eye on that one, see how much it costs. I mean, it's going to be 100 plus puzzles in it, so that seemed good. Anvil Saga, I can see something like being a massive time sink. It's in early access, so that'll probably still be a while. Uh, Terra Nil seemed interesting. I liked the visuals, but I'm kind of curious how much more gameplay mechanics that game has. So, on the fence, but I did enjoy it. And Potion Permit, I, I think that's something that I'll definitely pick up. So, you'll probably see it in future. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll do it for that.